pretty tired. Well, it's 2 p.m. What's happening? I did it. Chochi's hounding me. Oh. Okay. Sorry, reading text. Yeah, I'm already cross-eyed. Like, I'm already fatigued. I'll tell you why. It was a whole day. I was just icky, shitty, boring stuff. Trying to pay Kaiser. Like, trying to pay the CIA. That's the thing. I mean, they make it so goddamn difficult. It's ridiculous. It literally took me over an hour to pay my premium. Then I had to call eBay. Called my dad. That was a social call. Made sure all the things were, everything that sold from the Lightbox videos is out on the mail to be picked up. Even the things that sold this morning. I believe. I'm so tired. I probably shouldn't be doing a video. Maybe I won't do a long one. I say that all the time, right? I'm a liar. So then, for some reason, well, I mean, it, for some reason, because I haven't been thrifting, and I just thought, well, let me call the usual suspects, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to call Salvation Army to see if they had any bags, and the line was busy, so I just shot Marcello a text real quick. I'm like, have you been there? today? He's like, yeah, I was there a little while ago. They had a few bags. Bro. Smack your son upside the head for me. It's not his job. <laughs> so I did, then I called and got through and they're like, we have one left. It's a hundred bucks. I didn't get it. Just cut to the chase on that one. You know, what do you call it? Spoiler alert. alert, alert, alert. So I drive all the way over there and it's across town for me. And I called, I'm like, can you just hold it for 10 minutes? They're like, no, we can't. I'm like, fuck. So I get in there and they're like, oh, it just sold. And I felt like, hey, fucking, really? You couldn't hold it for fucking 10 minutes. So anyways, that was a complete waste of time. So I did text Marcello and say, can you at least, brah, help a brother out? Can you at least text me when you go there? Because he's over there. That's his side of town. He goes there a lot. I never go there. And I forget to call most of the time to even bother. I guess they had six bags this morning. I was up early enough. Had I ding, ding, ding thought about it, I had a million other things going on. So, you know what I'm saying? So that was a complete letdown. So I decided to go into the store real quick and just look since I'm there. And there's another thrift store right by there. Can never remember the name. It's a chain, but it's like a church chain. And I thought they opened Tuesdays because they're only open certain days. So it wasn't time for them to be open yet. It wasn't quite 11 or 10. I don't even know anymore, but whatever it was, it wasn't time yet. So I thought, well, let me stall inside here. So I'm just looking at the knickknack aisle and there's this lady who has her cart like so I'd have to look if I wanted to get by. So I just kind of stood there. <laughs> I was in a fucking mood. And then she looks, looks at me. And then she fucking takes her cart and goes, ba boom. Like moves it like that. Like not gently. Just like, ba boom. Lifts it and grabs it down. And I walked by. And she goes, say excuse me. And I was just like, oh, count to ten. And I did. I'm proud of myself. And she knows I heard her and I just kept walking. I just like slowly walked like, hmm. because I was in not a good mood. Do you know what I mean? Say, fuck you, say what? Oh no, girl, no. I'm standing right there. Your car's blocking the aisle. I need to say, excuse me, you need to go fuck yourself. I'm in no mood. So I figure it aggravates people even more when you don't acknowledge them. <laughs> so I did the reverse bitch. Although I should have, in retrospect, I should have looked back and went, Excuse me. That would have pissed her off even more. Anyways, I was just not in the mood. So I found a purse, though. I found two purses today. So then I went to the other thrift store, and it's not open till tomorrow. So I was just like, oh, okay. God, I see you. You're not funny. You're not even funny right now. Mm. So the purse I got at oh, the Salvation Army. Now, come on. I am 
Well, I'm kind of a fashionista. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, I should show you my shoes. My shoes are adorable. But this is the purse I found. And here's the thing about it. Is it not... It, is it not like... It's not super cute. It's passable. But I am practical. and I just washed my glasses. And I feel like I can't see. In this day and age, this is what, what I... This fits my needs. Perfect life. It's just a... I wear my purse around the house. Because I am dipping and doing it and having to ship and having to blah, blah, blah and bring my phone and if I don't bring my phone I won't find my phone out there anywhere it can be anywhere so it goes with me so this was three dollars at the Sally and I noticed that this was happening because it's you know just plastic shit so then I went to the Goodwill on the way home also they had nothing but it's just right on the way home so I was going and from afar, I could see the I could see it's see the handles hanging because I thought I can always replace these, and I see, and I glance from far from away and I go, oh, I see a hook and I see another hook, you know, removable. So I went and I got this one. This one was seven. I know. It's just Jan and whatever brand. Like I love leather. I don't mind dead cows. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm a leather girl. Grew up with it. Grew up with a leather maker in my family. So, love leather. So, I will use this as is. And then, if I want to just... I can. If this gets too worn out, I do like this thin little strap, though. I'm not going to lie. Well, when I first picked it up, it's like they're making faux leather so good these days, I had to look at the tag. I mean, does it feel like leather? Yes. But do so many other bags that aren't leather feel like leather? So, it's leather. Anyways, so I just thought I'd poop on, poop on, hop on, and do a quick roomy. And I just grabbed these tubs, which. Fuck. Uh, I got a bunch of craft lots over there. I just need to get them sorted. And here's the thing, honestly. I don't think I have the bags that are proper size for five pounds. I have the priority, those, but I don't have the. Ziploc. I'm not going to just toss all that into the, you know, obviously. So I think I need a gallon bag. I think that's the size. So I was planning on going to the Dollar Tree um, tomorrow for those and other things. Because I'm not going to try to thrift anywhere tomorrow. I'm not going looking for shit. This is that diamond bracelet. I don't know if I'd listen. No, I this. Hmm? Well, it's a men's. Not that you guys are interested. Stainless. But there's one that's diamonds. Well, let's test it. I have one that's diamonds. I don't think it's this one. I don't oh, and then these little cuties. Got those that go well. They're brand new with the taggies. Just something to accoutrement my hair. If that's the thing, accoutrement your hair. Yeah, I'm only going to do like 20. I swear. It's not going to be... I can't. I'm already. I'm already three sheets to the wind, as it were. Okay, so I think this is just a bunch of dump stuff. Good, you guys. And do I have any lots coming? No. Other than those two blue, blue bill, blue, blue, Goodwill blue boxes. And for those of you who know the blue boxes, fuck my life. They're coming from Tennessee. Tennessee and Waco is about as low life boxes as you can get. Yeah, this one isn't the diamond one, I don't think. Jen Red Leg Diamond. Hold on, let me put it up a little more, because these are so tiny. So then I don't... Maybe I have the diamond one listed already on eBay. These look like they could be diamonds. I'm not convinced yet. Nope. Um, what was I just saying? Oh. Yeah, well, I'll put Goodwill Blue Box... I will I'll read them for filth as I want to do. I even messaged him. Wait, I think that touched my finger and that doesn't count. Shit balls. See it's not doing it. Anyways, I'm gonna message them. Inconsistent. Now it's just going by itself. I messaged them when I saw where they were coming from and I said, you know, you guys really need to stop shipping garbage from this location in Tennessee. You need to stop. Could you stop? And I said, but that's okay. It'll give me 
something to talk about on my YouTube channel. I'm a bitch. I'm over it. I'm fucking over everyone and everything at this point. Not you guys. I'm over YouTube and they're slapping the commercials on. Slapping a bass, man. Love that movie. <laughs> oh, slapping a bass. And I'm over. I'm just over. I'm over that. These aren't diamonds. So I need to list it anyways. Stainless. I love stainless. Stainless is the new sterling. I do. I love stainless. I don't know why. I just love the look of it. But this is a man like, well, yeah. yeah. It's a big one. What was my point? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'll be putting in the title. And it says it's not even coming. Not this week, but the next week. So, we'll see. FedEx sent me a thingy. But I will be calling them out. They can care or not care. They're going to be called out. Because any of the blue... I don't usually watch blue boxes, but whenever I do, Tennessee are just garbage. And even though I bought them, put one in my cart, checked out, went back, put one in my cart, checked out, they're coming from the same place. So anybody that thinks like... I know there's other YouTubers that think if they do that, they'll get it two different locations. They see your they see your name and address, and they're like, here's where this one... I don't give a shit. You know, how many times she went in and did that. Does, oh, Dizzy. I think this is cool. You guys may have seen all this stuff a week ago. I apologize. Ha, I can't help it. I swear. Maybe it's just the non-glare coat. I can never see out of my glasses. You know the... You know the struggle. Oh, yeah, and this one I'm going to sell. Because I never wear it. It's my personal necklace, but I don't wear it. Just a cool vintage song, bitch. Uh, I'd say like, hmm, maybe the seventies. I'm not positive. I'm not gonna be like you know somebody else in these places that say like Cleopatra wore this, and then she decided no, I'm not gonna wear this, and then she passed it down to Nefertiti. <laughs> <laughs> really pretty though. It's just a pretty thing. The... So I'll put that over there. Mm. Um, I need to do something with this. Opium bottle? Oh no. This is carnelian. Don't get that twisted. She's a carnelian. I can see that. Anybody wants it, let me know. Snuff bottle? Shit, is that you? No, okay. Sally? I see Sally all of a sudden, but I think it's her video from me. Oh god, I don't know. FOMO! FOMO! I got FOMO! She said she was doing a... Uh, well, this is a different video. She has so many pretty rings, but she's the opposite of me. In that her rings are always way too big. You know, between like seven and a half and ten. Oh yeah, this one. I feel like we've been here so recently. Let me see what's under this one. Maybe this one is another recent one. I brought two over to the gate. Boy, chat. Oh, Chochi doesn't come for me. He is up my bum. Up my bum. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to visit. Oh, shit. Um, mm hmm What was this? Oh. <laughs> hey. This shouldn't be in here. This is what I got in 2004 on the way to my wedding at my friend Molly's beautiful historical estate. Right here in Waldemar. Um, there was a little yard sale. And it was like. Hurp, skirt. And we stopped in this bright. And I don't know. It keeps showing up in different places. It's very strange. How it got in here I died. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You couldn't tell me. That's the way. 
I haven't had any songs in my head. What would you heed? Yeah, we've seen this. How lighty. I still think it's cool, though. I mean, for a modern fashion. I'm not mad at it. Oh, yes. It's a bit of Right. This is, it's cool. That's a cool $8 necklace. Oh. Na, 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 na. I can't think of any modern songs. Yeah, that's the same video, but I'm now I'm getting and my remote is my phone. So I can't fl ow. I can't flip it. I was gonna get a ring from Sally, but I don't know if it'll fit me. Because one of the stages that that um have the back like this one? No, nope, that one's not even adjustable. Let me see. How bored can you get with me? I wanna see how bored you can get with me. You know what ring I'm not wearing, but I'm not ready to part with it yet, and I did pay up for it. It's a designer. With a rhodium plated Polly wanna crack. Huh? You're obsessed. With all the topaz and the blah blah. It's beautiful. It's just in my, you know. I was trying to show you an example of a sage that doesn't adjust. Here's one. See the back on that? I mean, you could do it, but it's not, this isn't really, you could, it's just, you can pull it out a little bit, but it's not meant. I don't know if I have any sage left that are meant to be adjustable. I don't have all my rings. Oh, bang, bang. It's just a head. I'm just a floating head right now. Like this one? No. Again. This one is balls to the... Oh, like, uh -uh. you're not going to under, uh, underlap it to make it smaller. It's not going to happen. So I'm afraid that the ring that Sally Wanna Cracker has... No, okay, that doesn't work out right. Oh, Paula. I already sent your package. I was going to send this cute little ring. Ha, uh -huh. it's cute. Oh, never mind, girl. Forgot you got fatty fingers. <laughs> Everybody has fatty fingers. I got fatty body. <laughs> fatty body, skinny fingers. Oh, fatty, fatty. I'm going to list this because I'm going to list it for what I paid on eBay. It's, it's Bixby. So it's like 225 bucks, which is a fucking, I got a good deal. It's fantastic. I love it. It's just a size seven. Do you see that? It's just a little too big. And I've not been wearing her. It's the grasshopper. Some people call it crickets. I don't know. You call it whatever you want. We're just going through my jewelry now. Oh, I love this one. I want the bracelet that goes with this, but I would have to sell my soul to the devil. It's $800, a little over that. Oh, there's a bracelet that goes with this. No warning. But this ring, these look so pretty together. Oops, she's upside down. Well, to me, right side up is upside down. Well, the hummingbird don't fly away, fly away. They look pretty together. They well suited. And the skull, yeah, I won't I will never sell my skull, but I wish I could go and get a bump in there and I might do it. Because I really want this one for this finger. That's what you know what I mean? She's like much smaller than most Bixby's, like in scope and whatnot. So you know what I'm saying? I'll see. So she's probably a six. I mean, my fingers have gotten tiny bit fatter. Oh, shit balls. That's why she won't fit. If she was a straight six, she'd probably be okay. I could probably maybe get away with it, but not over a six. Because this finger's a five. She's a five. Anyways, did I have a point in all that? Did I go down that road? Oh. So, yeah. The ring that I want... Well, there's the bracelet that I want. I don't know what I'd be willing to sell to get that dang bracelet. Well, I'm going to sell 
the grasshopper Bixby because I'm not wearing her. I'm just, I would just have to go through it. I'd be willing to sell this, but this needs to go on eBay because this is going to be like 350 This one. I have to be willing to be in pain, if that makes sense. Like I did with the sage and I got the, I love her so much. Her. Yeah, she was $300, guys, if you haven't seen her. I wear her every day. I just take her off at night. I take her off in the shower, too, even though she's all sterling and whatever. I don't know. And then I just got this Abel guitar to go with her. That was like 35. 300, uh, 35. And then I've got the 14 karat gold fan. But the moral of the story is I sold the Sajin. And I don't regret it. I went to good homes. People are enjoying it. And I like that. I like things to go and be enjoyed. Not just sit and rot in my jewelry box. Ow. These are the jewelry boxes that I use, and I'm not organized right now. I've got like Sajin mixed up. The two Sajins that I won't sell, I say that now. The ones, no, I can show you two that I will never sell. These two. This one, my mom, I picked it, but she gave me the money for my birthday. And this one, I just love her. And she's smaller in scope. I have her sister. I'm not sure if I'd be willing to ever sell her either. You can see the difference. But it kind of works out perfectly because she fits on the big finger and she fits on the small finger. Oh, and I only have two sage and bracelets left, so yeah, they're not negotiates. These are my sage's bracelets. I love the one I sold. Well, all the ones, but the last one I sold. I love to shit these. Love these. Haven't been wearing them that often because I've been wearing. Well, I haven't been wearing braces mostly, but today I just put this on because I found them. Oh God, who's that? I'm not answering. Are you still there? I don't know if those are what if those are solicitors. Any house, who's, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm looking at Carolyn's one. Okay, I'm totally distracted right now. Can you tell I'm fatigued already? Is that a thing that's obvious? Oh, I'll try to make it to 30 minutes. Have we just gone through this? I thought maybe I'd actually get shit done, but that's not bad. That's cool. I personally don't like bangles. I don't wear them. Don't care, don't wear. I'm not a fan. I mean, I see some that I really love, but it's like I don't wear them because they're uncomfortable to me. This one's pretty. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this one's broken. Yeah, I remember this now. It's really pretty because it's a buckle. That's vintage, but like this. You see? We may still have time. We might still get by. Every time I think about it, <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> the hell? Hold on, maybe I can make it work. No. It won't work. Well, that's a craft lot. The bombs and the devils and the kids keep coming. Nowhere to breathe easy, no time to be. And Wilson has a hell of a voice. Okay, it's just, it's just frustrating me. Oh, pissing me off. And I'm to myself that I was doing alright. Nothing left to do tonight. But go crazy. Okay, now this one, 
This brooch, I know I've showed it to you before, but these aren't dead rhinestones. They've got weird mixed in gray on purpose. Do you see all those? I wonder why they designed it like that. Because it's like, one might think those are dead. They're not dead. They're very much alive. <clears throat> it's vintage, just so unsigned. Weird. Weird. Weird, wacky kind of thing. And I tell myself that I was. This is cool, this part. I like the shiny agate. That's what I think it is. I think it's mocha agate. These are the shells. I think those are mocha agate. I'm getting nothing done. I'm just putting a couple things showing and putting in another pile. Yeah. But I just thought, well, I've got nothing. And I'm just not in the mood to, like, go super through shit, you know? The shit I have, I mean. You see what I'm doing. It's, like, boring the shit out of me. This is a cool faux, but vintage. Probably 1960s. That's a nice one. It's not bell trading. I like the old... I've got several different pieces of faux, you know, metal faux turquoise from the 60s and 70s. And I kind of, maybe because I was there, I kind of love it. And why is this in here? Oh my god, I can't, but I also shan't. This is ridiculous. I don't know, I must have just done some weird... Yeah, this is so sucked into there. Remember this? Isn't that cute? Sweet. It's This is modern, but man, did they make it look like the 60s. The velvet and all. My mom used to have a tapestry bag from La Scarpa in Seal Beach. It might have been Sunset Beach. I don't mind this one. La Scarpa. And this reminds me so much of it. Hers, of course, was a lot more elaborate and what have you, but still. Oh, I like them. <laughs> I can't get anything out, you guys, and I'm too tired to even move. And uh, I'll just show you the little dragon. It's a silver tone. Mm, I don't know if that's pewter or not, but yeah, it is pewter. It's signed. Oh, that's very cool. That's a very cool thing. I listed six things on eBay. I was looking through that latest lot, like the stuff in it, and I saw that there was a little uh, Tiffany. A real Tiffany. So I put it up for like $57 on eBay. It sold right quick and in a hurry. But it was very scratched. It's one of those little square ones. It was very scratched, and it didn't have a bail. I mean, a, a jump ring. Had a bail. So I put as is. I think somebody should buy this for their dad. Dad, I need to put that on eBay. It says something. I don't. It's, it's not uh, sterling, but oh, hummingbird, don't fly away, fly away. Or is that just a pattern? Because it's pitten. It's a nicely made ring. Yeah. It's weird. I didn't know. Remember that song, Hummingbird? No, nope. Seals and Croft, I believe. Come on, old ladies like me. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. All right. I need to get back to Caroline because I didn't tell her. I love these earrings, but I think there's like, nope, I know what the deal is. I think there's two and there's either dead ones or there's, they're cool. There's actually a dang missing stone. I'll put it over there anyway. Alright, well, yeah, I've got no lots coming in. So the next couple videos will be light box videos. Um, yeah. I guess until the blue boxes. Unless I find something in real life, which... We don't have much of that. And it is, a, like, a, just a shit show right now um is craft lot because there's missing a whole bunch of stones 
Gold's up, silver's up. Logan was a school and man telling me all the details. And he went to the flea market and the prices were insanely high and just prices are high. And there's no real sign of them going back down low, if that makes sense. Where they usually do, like gold goes way up and comes down, it might not be coming down. This is pretty, actually. I'm trying to flip it over to see if, yeah, there's like these little, I don't see anything missing. That's cool. I like it. All right. I made my 30. Dirty 30. I like this ring, too. I forget. It's got some wear, though. Maybe that's why I didn't put it anywhere. I like that kind of thing. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, the purse. Nope, it's so tangled up. Tangled up in bling. But I'm not going to get it eight. Nothing's coming out. It's just my own, my own, what do you call it? Pile? Oh, my God, you guys. Okay, I better go. I'm pushing the envelope on myself, and it's not good. This one's kind of cool. I think there's a missing stone right there, but look at how it opens. Is that fancy? Yeah, I think there's a stone here and there missing. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, I'm going for real, for real, because I could sit here all day and futz around. Oh, the futzy. Ah, oh, futzy. Why the futz you want to do that? Ah, oh, futz. Now I'll say futz instead of. And yeah. Fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> Hilarious. Look at my eyes. It looks like I'm stoned. That's what happens when I get fatigued. My eyes go dead. Eric used to say, he just could see it instantly. Okay, I'm going to go. I see you soon. I missed you guys. If you want to know the cool thing, I said it in the light box video, but my pink bag. I'm a baller, bitch. Seriously. Type it in Google. Pull up all my eBay. Type it in the search engine on YouTube. It'll pull up eBay. My eBay. I tried it with other sellers who I know have the same name. YouTube and... Uh, what, what, what name? eBay name? It didn't work. So I don't know why I got lucky. But I'm all over. Everywhere. So you can find me. Just type in my name. Tap it in. But I'm a tap. There you go. I missed you. I'll be back. Ah, <laughs> go. Oh. Okay. I'm so sidetracked by that message. I got to swoop it away. I'll be back soon-ish. I'll be back in the light box and I'll figure out how to be back in an about room. And I'll figure out if I'm gonna sell my soul to the devil to get that bracelet. I probably won't, I don't know. I'll see you soon. <laughs>